What have I been watching? Do we do we do? Let's talk about some movies I've been watching. Do we do? Do we do? Whoops, I dropped those. Now, I can't remember if I talked about this in the last episode. Uh, I watched Madagascar 2 the other day. I'm still struggling. Is it as bad as I remember, or is it better? I don't know. 3 was about as bad as I remember, but it was also a lot more fun than I remember because it's just complete insanity, and that's what kind of these movies should have been. I know this and Penguins Madagascar play with it, so much more than this does. And so, I, yeah, I enjoyed 3 a lot. I actually was super engaged about watching it. I was laughing. I had fun with it. I don't know why. I don't know why so there's like a debate. 2 or 3. I think it's just 3. I know there's the Katy Perry song, which is awful. Firework. Hate that song. Terrible song. But it's still a good movie. For... Uh, for the crazy insanity that it is. Like, I actually like this trilogy, I think, overall. I think I do. Um, Penguins of Madagascar. I'm going to be revisiting that probably tomorrow. <coughs> probably tomorrow or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I, I enjoyed revisiting that. Um, and then this morning, I watched Alice in Wonderland. Uh, the Disney animated version, of course. Um, I used to like the Burton ones. You know, of course, like, been like, eh. I know he didn't direct the second one, but, you know, he did direct the first one. And his style is kind of similar, just a little bit lightened up in the second movie. Still not good. I, those movies are awful. I think I enjoyed them because, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain myself, but... You know, the Disney animated version is one of my favorite Disney animated movies from this time period because what I, my biggest problem with older Disney movies, besides the fact that everybody's biased against them because, hey, I grew up on it, um, and so that means it's good somehow. You know, I grew up on a lot of terrible garbage, so I don't know about that. But um, is the fact that there aren't stories because, well, I mean, you didn't need a story to engage an audience because there was no competition. This was the only animated films being made were the ones by Disney. And it was a spectacle. Here, I'm going to turn it here to see these types of films because there were so few of them being made. Oh, dang, this fell. This metal plate, I'm going to put that back. Uh, but, you know, there were so few of them being made that this was all uh, you could see. And it. so it was amazing for the time. And it did a lot to push animation forward. And by no means these are awful movies. Like Disney movies are awful. But they just don't have stories. And a lot of them bore me to tears for that reason. But this movie it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for it to have a story. Because that's not the point of Alice in Wonderland. It's a weird trippy movie. Where Alice goes through the magical world. Though I don't think this is as like trippy as it probably should have been, considering the book. Like, Yellow Submarine is a more accurate adaptation of the Lewis Carroll's original novel, Alice in Wonderland, than this is. And it's not even based on Alice in Wonderland. It's it's just a crazy, insane movie made while the Beatles were under some influences. Let's just say that. And uh, that's a great movie. And you should all watch it. Uh, if And... Fantastic movie, one of the best, one of the best anime movies ever made. I think one of the best films ever made. Um, so then I watched another VeggieTales movie. And this is the one that parodied Robin Hood, and uh, again another one that they took out God out of, and they used it to parody something in pop culture. This is not what VeggieTales is, and I don't get why this exists. And it's not very good. And it's it's very boring. Um, so I got like, what, six of these, I think, left. Yeah, I'm not enjoying these at all. I honestly don't enjoy this collection because there's just nothing on here. 
I have to probably. I wish they'd actually do a complete collection of the original Veggie Tales series. That would be great for them to put out. Don't know if they will do that. And then I watched The Nutty Professor 2. Uh, what is it? What's it? The, the Clumps. I'm going to be honest. The first one was re really funny. Like, not in like a smart way. Like I mentioned, this is a bad movie in the last episode. But not in the sense like, man, the people who made this didn't care um, about what they were doing. Um, but like, it just in the sense that it's not a well-written movie. It's poorly written. But like s on a subjective level, you can find it funny because it's just a star vehicle for Eddie Murphy. <coughs> on an objective level, great. It's a star vehicle. It's not well-written, good comedy. And, yeah, I enjoyed it, found it funny. The second movie didn't have any moments that I could think of that I'm like, oh, well, that was really funny. Like, I think about that montage where he's working out in the first movie. That was funny. There was some uh, that moment where he making out with this girl on the beach, and he's, like, crushing her. And that was hilarious to me. But, you know, it's the, and I thought that was funny. I thought the, that was funny, but this, the second movie didn't have that. Excuse me, I have to go over to my media tower over here and grab a movie. I forgot to grab. Hey. Right. The last movie I watched here, I... I apologize for getting, for getting to grab this, but I literally <coughs> just got off the heels of finishing this. Uh, One Woman Bloodlines. Um, so, I got some other DC movies recently I need to watch. These are all 4Ks. Uh, we got Wonder Woman. I have seen this movie before, I just never owned it, so now I finally do. I've always meant to grab that one, but now I do, finally. Because um, I love this movie. I constantly watch it. It's not a great movie uh, by any means, but I do like rewatching it. I've heard this is really good. I haven't seen it yet. Red, Super Red Sun Superman. I'm thinking either tomorrow or tonight I'm going to watch it. These DC movies aren't very long. I think, what, this is like it's an hour and 24 minutes. So, you know, it's like not even an hour and a half. I, it's only quick watch. I can probably watch before I go to bed tonight. Um, and then I have Shazam. Which I need to watch. But um, this is the one uh, that was on Blu-ray that I picked up. I think in the last video I said I only need to watch Red Sun, Sun Superman. And the DC animated movies I need I got recently. I forgot about this one. Um, this one's really good. Uh, this is one of the better ones. And why I really like this is because... So I'm a fan of the Wonder Woman character... Because of some of the stories she's in with other characters, if that makes sense. Like Justice League, blah, blah, blah. I also just enjoyed this movie. I really love the Wonder Woman movie. But um, every movie that she's appeared in has been an origin story and things like that. No, this doesn't do that. It kind of gives you an origin story. It kind of doesn't. Very quick. Um, it's very... Um, so I'm saying I'm a lot. Jeez Louise. But it basically, it shows you the Wonder Woman character just being Wonder Woman character from the comics. And from what I've heard from people actually read the comics, they really like this movie because it's accurate to the comic. And I can totally see that. There are characters in this movie I've never heard of. There are no. What I also really appreciate about it is that there were no other Justice League characters. And a lot of these DC animated movies, they want to put other superheroes just in cameos and things like that. Sometimes it makes sense, and a lot of times it doesn't. And it's really good to see them say, hey, screw that. We're, we're going to make a solo Wonder Woman movie, which is fantastic. We don't have her origin story again. We're just getting Wonder Woman doing her thing and her thing is pretty great and you should see it uh, 
I really love the voice acting in this too. Um, the vo I'm forgetting the actress's name. Let's see if it's back on the back here. I don't see a name. Rosario Dawson. Uh, she's Wonder Woman. And um, she she's good. She's really good. Because it's not like she's doing an impression of Gal Gadot. Um, it's performance in, uh, you know, of course, Wonder Woman. It feels like her own version of the character. But also just similar enough to this version but not too similar and it's fantastic i absolutely love her voice as this character um yeah love that and i'd love to see her more stuff so yeah um that's everything i watched um i mean these are things well these here let me switch these up um, you know, I need to watch these, or no, these are the ones I watch. Um, either, so my plans are, I think, tomorrow, um, I really wanted to start watching Jaws. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but I'm definitely going to watch Penguins of Madagascar tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to finish either that, watch Penguins of Madagascar tonight, and Red Sun Zuman, and then go to bed, um, and then, um... And then, so tomorrow, I can start uh, the next DreamWorks group of movies. I'm going to be marathoning the Shrek movies. Um, but I want to finish Madagascar first. And then um, maybe I can start uh, the Nutty Professor, too. Uh, not Nutty Professor, uh, Night at Museum Trilogy, um, which I, I've actually been meaning to revisit. And now I finally have an excuse to do it, so I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of everything I've watched. Um, so stay tuned for more. Uh, Monday I should have a review for Turner, Turner and Hooch, uh, the Tom Hanks movie. Um, it's you know they're supposed to do a series on Disney Plus, so I wanted to review that movie. And the week after that, I will be reviewing the Honey I Shrunk the Kids trilogy, and then when I, the, the week by week, and the week after that, and when I finish those movies, I will review the Mighty Ducks trilogy. 